Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 19th, 2020. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had um, jobless numbers that came in bigger than expected, and we had a gap down in the market. But really, the bulls just said, we don't care. We don't care that there were record COVID infection numbers reported yesterday. We don't care that unemployment is high. They rallied back. And really, right at the end of the day, we had a, an amazing surge to push things back up. So this morning, we're heading into a quadruple witching um, options week. So what does that mean for today's market? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Friday edition to the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we are looking at the bulls in buy mode. Around the world last night, we had Asian markets push higher, closing the week up. We have... Um, uh, European markets pushing for positive um, prints this morning across the board. And we have U.S. futures pointing to a gap up open. So we're just, it really is an interesting situation in this market where we have, seem to have an unlimited capacity to ignore anything negative and push higher and that's what's going on right here we have a trend that continues to remain bullish everything's um, setting up uh, to the bullish side and we're moving higher this morning as you can see trying to gap up um, this morning in the market so let's take a look and see what we've got in the technicals here that we can um, picture if you take a look at the diamonds it looks like we're going to gap up here again this morning and we're going to try and we're going to test that 200 day moving average as resistance again you can see we gap through that uh, before pulled back rested right here on the 500 day and this morning we're going to push back up here at the open test that 200 as resistance should we be able to break through um, then um, hey we've got everything uh, firing to the upside here in the market kind of remarkable um, overall the tenaciousness of these bulls it just is amazing that any of these uh, concerning factors out there that normally would affect the market just don't seem to have any effect um, right now. And, and, and really, that's in the light of um, central bank operations that are just uh, phenomenal. Um, I don't know if you saw in the news, but um, Europe is actually um, beginning their negotiations on a massive uh, potential um, stimulus program over there so um hey as though as long as we continue to print money and pump money into the markets maybe uh, the bulls are right there's just nothing uh, that is important anymore um all we want to do is rally now let's take a look at the spy spy also rallying up this morning and the spy is held above its 200 day moving average showing much more bullishness than that of the the diamonds and you can see we're holding on to that trend nice little resting pattern up here holding and those bulls are pushing higher this morning if we zoom this up a little bit you can see we're gapping above yesterday's close we ended up closing up only 12 cents yesterday and what was amazing is it really didn't happen until just the last few minutes of the day we got a big surge of buying and you can see that volume that came in right here at the end of the day pushing uh, the market back up and and just within the last few minutes of the day if we take a look at um our technicals here we're looking pretty good over our all we do have resistance levels up here to be made aware of as we push up we're still trying to test these resistance levels 
in the chart. And it is kind of remarkable to me that we're still getting all of these bad news events out there. And the market is uh, defying uh, gravity here completely, ignoring those uh, things as we push higher. So let's watch these resistance levels in the chart as we push back up, see if we can um, drive through them this morning. QQQ. NASDAQ has been relentless. Um, the buying in the NASDAQ has been amazing. As a matter of fact, it's that big four, big five stocks that have really done the majority of the lifting here in the market. Um, and they continue to push to the upside. Microsoft had a big day up yesterday. And what we're seeing here um, overall is we're seeing the NASDAQ trying to gap higher and we may be pushing right up in here into all-time highs. Now, of course, we have to push up significantly higher to catch that all-time high print, but we could push just a little bit harder and close this market at a record high this Friday um, on the NASDAQ. So the bulls are really, really pushing hard in there. Trend is still up. Um, remarkable bullishness here in the market. And if we take a look at IWM, IWM is also pushing up this morning. We're going to gap up this morning, gap just slightly above yesterday in that move. And let's keep in mind that we are still below our 200 day moving average. And I would say the NAS or IWM still has really the most bearish potential pattern here. Um, in the market with that possible head and shoulders uh, pattern. We, well, um, if, as we push up toward that 200 day moving average, let's watch that carefully for that possibility of that um, little selling wave that could come in. Um, pretty, pretty darn remarkable market. If we take a look at like a 15 minute chart and this is true on the diamonds and um, the spy. The diamonds and the spy, we were in a 15 minute downtrend, but then right there um, at the end of the day, we had that surge. We had that little bit of surge and now overnight, we have rallied this market up to break that downtrend. So once again, we could be in that situation where we could see the majority of the price action in the overnight gap, we get that gap. Let's make sure before we rush in and chase in this morning that we actually get some follow through buying that we don't end up gapping up and then just kind of wandering around going nowhere the rest of the day. So be careful in that chase. Let's take a look at the VIX. One thing we wanna keep our our mind on is that the VIX is still very elevated. And then this elevated condition, I, I'm expecting it to pull back this morning. But in this elevated condition, it is showing that even though we're trying to ignore fear, there is fear in the market. And that means that we could have some very volatile price action. So possibility that we could gap up and have a what we call a pop and drop, where we gap up and, and sell off the rest of the day. Um, we could gap and run higher today. So that volatility that we are displaying here or that little bit of fear can really make price action pretty uh, difficult to trade. So keep that in mind. And particularly if you're an option trader heading into this quadruple witching day, we could see a lot of tossing about here um, in, um, in these charts. So watch that carefully. And then let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And in T2122, what we're looking for is those over overbought or oversold conditions. And we have neither today. We pulled back just ever so slightly yesterday in T2122. What that really said is, even though we had indexes trying to push higher yesterday, it was really a very few stocks that were pushing higher. The majority of stocks were still pulling back. So we had that little bit of pullback in T2122. It doesn't give us a, any kind of a directional look. I would suspect that this morning's gap up, we will be pushing right back up in here 
toward that uh, bearish reversal zone as we head into the weekend. So watch that closely as we push up in there. Whether or not we can actually get follow through buyers at these prices, that's going to be the question. We may get the big morning gap, but will there be buyers to follow through um, this morning in this price action? We'll want to watch that closely as we open. You know, T2101, which is the absolute breadth indicator, kind of displays that yesterday. Although we had the NASDAQ and the SPY close just um, slightly positive, uh, notice that we had our absolute breadth indicator um, was moving lower. So that's just that sign that the majority of stocks were actually moving down while just a few kind of held the market up. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and let's um, see what we have on that to be made aware of. And I gotta tell you, not much of anything to uh, to be worried about today on the economic calendar. We have um, just a parade of Fed speakers with um, Jerome Powell speaking at 1 p.m. again today. And all day long, it's just Fed talk. We do have current account uh, numbers out here at 8.30, but that's not something that normally the market reacts to at all and like i said it really doesn't matter what the news is right now um if if indicators or news is bad it doesn't matter we continue to rally so unless we learn something new from jerome powell i doubt we have much in this calendar today that's going to move us around and i kind of suspect we will not learn anything new from jerome powell today so keep that in mind on the earnings front we we only have 10 companies reporting earnings today, but we do have just a couple that uh, might be notable. KMX, KMX will be reporting. Looks like they're gapping higher this morning. Now that I, I'm not sure if that's the report or if that's just a function of this morning gap up, but we're gapping right up into all time high price resistance here on KMX, something to keep an eye on. And also JBL is reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. Looks like it's looking for a little tiny gap up here this morning. I can't say that they've reported just yet. I'm not sure. Um, something to pay attention to in the chart. But that's about it of the 10 companies that are reporting this morning. So how about we take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video is worthy, and, and remember the purpose of these video, videos is not to provide any prediction or anything along those lines. What it's meant to do is really focus in on the things that could affect the market for the day and how you may want Want to approach the market. So if you find that to be helpful, if you find that to be useful to you, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps the channel to grow. And I just want to say thank you. Just um, truly humbled by some of the comments that you folks leave. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, makes the effort of putting this video out every day uh, very worthwhile. So as we slip into this weekend, what are some stocks that could be setting up? Let's take a look and see if we can find anything out there that would make some sense. Um, one of the stocks that um, is kind of interesting here, Oracle. Oracle popping up now a little bit of a struggle here. Oracle has just gotten past its earnings report and trying to pop up here this morning we're getting a little bit of bullishness let's watch this in here i you know it's one of those texts that has really been lagging behind whether or not it can actually break through up here i don't know we need this to break out of this level but what's interesting in here to me is there's really no sellers below this level so 
if we can't get sellers to sell it, then I want to be watching for that potential upside pop, that break uh, to the upside. So something to keep an eye on here. Um, watch that carefully. If we take a look at Kroger, this is one of those interesting things in the market right now. Kroger actually reported a positive report, really good earnings. And um, the market rewarded good earnings with a sell-off yesterday. And so we want to keep an eye on Kroger. Um, we seem to be struggling in this area, and we're moving over toward the trend. Um, a little bit of a hammer type pattern here. If we got some bullish follow through in here, we might be able to push up. But I got to tell you, it's it's really interesting. We get bad earnings reports and this, the stock rallies. Here's an example of that. Um, Planet Fitness declares bankruptcy and on this day and the stock rallied. We get a good earnings report from Kroger and the stock sells off. Kind of an interesting situation here. So keep an eye on that stock. I can't really tell you where it's going to go and it looks like it's about ready to open um, where it closed yesterday. So not very happy here overall. Now, as you guys know, I'm keeping an eye on gold and silver. Gold and silver, as we continue to print money like, like there's no end to the ink and paper, continue to print money and pump money into the market, I do expect the dollar to begin to suffer here before too long. And um, I personally have a position in gold. So I want to make sure to mention that for full, full disclosure here. Um, maybe there's a little bit of a bias in, in this as well. Um, um, because I just have that fundamental belief we keep printing and dumping money into the market like this, there will be an effect on the dollar. So keeping an eye on gold, it's just consolidating here, drifting along sideways, um, looking for that opportunity that it may pop out. And it looks like this morning gold is going to move just a little bit higher. So watch that um, right in here. If that can actually break out, there may be some opportunity in GLD. Also keeping an eye on silver. Silver is also moving just a little bit higher this morning, getting a little bit of a pop up. Um, suspecting that once again, um, all of this money, money printing will have a negative effect on the dollar and maybe push um, these precious metals higher. So keep an eye on that. Might want to keep an eye on um, some of these defensive sector stocks. We saw Coke yesterday providing a nice little bullish engulfing candle here and a little tiny higher low in that chart. Um, I actually hold this. I'm currently down on this trade just slightly. I'm. It's not a not a big down in the chart, but I've been kind of watching this and this higher low looks um, um, bullish uh, to me uh, for that potential move. And it looks like we're going to gap a little bit higher here on Coke, moving that just slightly higher. So I'm holding it, but I got to tell you, I'm not real impressed with it. And honestly, that's kind of true of the entire market. I'm just not all that impressed with what's going on in here. Another place you may want to look is energies. We saw some bullishness coming back into energies yesterday. Little teeny tiny higher low. We're still testing some resistance levels here in the chart. But if you look at some individual names like uh, Schlumberger, Schlumberger, nice little hold of this price support in here. Nice bullish candle yesterday and it is pushing higher this morning. So there are some stocks out there in that energy sector, Schlumberger, uh, like Halliburton, trying to move back up um, yesterday as um, the market seems to be, uh, you know, voting more for the recovery than any of the negative numbers out there. So keep an eye on that. I would also keep an eye on stocks like Apple, Apple trying to break out. You can see this morning it could be gapping up to an all-time high. Keep an eye on Apple. Um, AVGO, a major supplier of Apple, also moving up, something you might want to be keeping an eye on in the chart. Um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA um, has been just trying to eke its way higher here, trying to lift up. This may soon break out if we can get that those bulls to really push this morning, a little bit of a short squeeze possibly, uh, pushing any short traders out and really pushing this up. 
NVIDIA could take off, so that might be one to watch. Um, other stocks that I have been mentioning and have paid off very, very well, hopefully some of you um, got into these trades, would be um, SQ. Now, SQ is pushing up here toward an all-time high. I would watch that carefully and not want to chase into that at this moment, but a little rest, a little pullback, or a little consolidation right here against that resistance might set up that next opportunity higher. So keep an eye on SQ. And also um, keep an eye on PayPal. PayPal has been very, very strong looking uh, to the upside, looking higher. Might want to watch that. Um, I think a little rest or pullback is what I'd want to see before I jump into this. But this is blue sky highs. PayPal looking very, very strong here in the market. And last but not least today, um, an another um, oil sector stock, USO. Now, USO has been incredibly volatile. Um, the implied volatility in the options are very, very high, adding some risk in here. But we have a pattern in here that is really, really nice. And this is a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. And the rounded bottom breakout is where the um, all of a sudden we start to rally up off that. We're holding that 50-day moving average in here as support. And we're starting to get the ever so slight clues of that that bullishness, that little higher low. So as USO may be pushing higher, let's watch for that opportunity that um, oil sector may be starting to recover. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. And more importantly, I want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Everybody be safe. We do have coronavirus numbers spiking. We hit record numbers in some states yesterday of new infections. So please be careful. Be safe. And then we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Everyone take care. Have a great weekend.